Hey guys, this is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. 10.17 p.m. September 13th, Mountain Time. I want to do a quick video on some interesting things. The first thing I want to show you are some interesting earthquakes. There's a 4.0 here in Soda Springs near Yellowstone. That area has been swarming. Interesting earthquake up here just shot off in Montana. Nothing strange about this Oklahoma quake. But here in Virginia, very interesting quake, very rare, 3.1. And an interesting rare earthquake over here in Bulgaria. That's all I wanted to cover there. But let's talk about Hurricane Jose. Jose is listed as Cat 1 according to the Hurricane Center. Um, is sitting right here just north of the Dominican Republic and south of Bermuda here. And a lot of the models are showing it coming up here into New England sometime on Monday. <clears throat> Maybe even into Tuesday. And potentially making landfall in New Jersey on Wednesday. Or anywhere near north up here in Nova Scotia. There's a lot of models and it's far off. But what I want to talk about is the headlines uh, that are going to blame this on climate change. And I want to give you a little bit of information that will help you actually understand what is happening here in the Atlantic with uh, Irma and the hurricane in Texas. So let's first talk about the Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation or AMO. What is that? It has been identified as a coherent mode of natural variability occurring in the North Atlantic Ocean with an estimated period of 60 to 80 years. It's based on the average anomalies of sea surface temperature or SST in the North Atlantic Basin. Here's a graph of that actual anomaly. And you can see it's a climate cycle. And it's at different scales. There's this larger 60 to 80 year periodicity. And there's this very small scale up and down. Uh, annual, biannual, triannual, etc. Now, if you just do a quick search of New England um, hurricanes on Google, you're going to get a very concise list from the 1600s on up. And if you just start looking around here at some dates, you're going to find like 1944 and 1938 were two major of the biggest hurricanes. If you have this image open, you're going to find out that 1944 is right here on this peak. And 1938 is right up here on this peak. And then you're going to say, wait a minute. Wait, wait when was Sandy? Oh yeah, that was in 2012. Let me go back to my image. Well, oh, there's a peak. Huh. What about the giant, what about the hurricane in Galveston that wiped out Galveston 1900? Quick, this is fun. Oh my goodness, there's a peak. Let me spend all night looking at this list. What you're going to find is a really amazing correlation uh, with... You know, you're going to quick come in here and see there's a gap between uh, the, the 60s and then into the 90s. Lots of hurricanes in the 1890s and 1860s. And go back to your image. Uh, 1890s. Oh, my gosh. 1860s. Well, it's off the grip. Wow. Well, we can correlate the 90s, 1890s to hurricanes. So, folks, it's not your fault. <laughs> If this hurricane, Jose, hits New England, it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with man-made anthropogenic climate change because that's fake. But what it does have to do with climate cycles, and in this case, it's the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation. So get yourself familiarized with it so you, have, so you sound smart and so you actually know what's going on with the climate. The fear mongering, those are for, that's for children. You want to be an adult, so you want to know the facts. So read up on the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation. I'll, I'll leave links to this uh, in the bottom of the description here. 
Um, I'll also leave links to the Wikipedia on the list of New England hurricanes, this wonderful picture of Hurricane Sandy, and spend some time and do some research. 1938 New England hurricane, one of the largest ever. Come to the graph. Here's 1938. Go up. Boom. Hmm. It's not your fault, folks. For those of you who don't know, uh... Solar Shutdown is a page I started uh, about five or six years ago. And it's the coverage of the ongoing grand solar minimum, which here I have as the modern minimum. So if you're interested in about uh, climate cycles, I suggest that you uh, like my page. Thanks for watching. Be safe, everyone.